if we use 2019 as a great example, past performance, not an indicative of future results, but you can always learn something from, from the past. So looking at 2019, we had a big rally from 3,000 all the way up to $14,000. And then we had this pullback. My analysis tells me, had it not been for COVID, this right here was the actual bottom of this pullback. You know, I think $6,300 was the bottom. And this right here was the beginning of this, uh, of this last bull market. So what you have right now is the last pullback. This is the last pullback before the real bull market. After this last pullback, you have the beginning of the next bull market. For some people, we're already in a bull market, and I can respect that. You know, for some people, this was the beginning of this last bull market. So basically, you're looking at almost a three years of a bull market. Again, for some people, we're already in a bull market. This was the beginning of the bull market. And we're looking at the next, you know, three years of the price of Bitcoin, you know, continuing to rise. And again, I can absolutely respect that. I can, you know, respect that. So going back to 2019, and you know, I just want you, you guys to see something. In 2019, you know, after this big rally right here, Bitcoin, you know, pulled back for about, if we go from right here, the exact top of $14,000. You know, we pulled back for about, you know, if we stop right here, you know, you're looking at 154 days. If we stopped right here, if we stop right here, if we go all the way to here, you know, you're looking at a lot of more days. All right. If we go all the way right here, looking at about, you know, 259 days. Okay. But if we stop right here, you know, let's stop right here. If we stop right here, you're looking at 154 days of a pullback. Okay. So let's see what 154 days of a pullback will look like, you know, this time. Of course, it doesn't have to be exactly the same length of a pullback. You know, this could potentially be shorter or it could potentially be longer. 154 days, if we go from $30,000 Bitcoin, 154 days puts us, you know, sometimes in early September. I need you guys to see how, you know, all of this is bringing us back to late August and early September. This is early September right here, guys, 154 days. So if we were to pull back for about 154 days, right? That, you know, before the last drop, basically. So that will put us, you know, sometimes in early September. So meaning that we have about just little, just a little over two months to go. 154 days of this pullback will put us sometimes in September. If we have, again, you know, let's include the COVID crash, you know, let's, let's just, for the sake, you know, of looking at all of the data, you know, let's just say that this was the actual, you know, let's include, let's include COVID. Let's say this, you know, was the actual pullback. So you got 259 days. So 259 days, you know, that puts us 259 days, you know, that puts us to sometimes in December. So you're looking at December exactly on Christmas. No, this is like December 29th. So 
you're looking at the last week of December. If we have another, you know, 259 days of this pullback right here. I hope this is making a lot of sense to a lot of you guys. So what this means, this is what you guys need to understand. What this means is that you have a few more months of, you know, very boring. Like this is going to be boring, guys. Very, very boring price action. And this is going to, this is going to have you question yourself. Like, is this market, you know, ever going to turn around? Or is the cryptocurrency market ultimately dead? Like, those are some of the questions that are going to run, uh, that are going to run through your mind. All right. Let's take a look at 2019 again. So I can show you how painful this is. If we, you know, if we say that this was the last, you know, this was basically the bottom had it not been for COVID. I mean, it took Bitcoin, right? 154 days to drop six to seven thousand dollars. So just imagine, you know, how painful that is. It took 154 days, you know, just to drop six to seven thousand dollars because we're going from fourteen thousand all the way down to six thousand dollars. 154 days just to drop six to seven thousand dollars. Imagine how boring you know that is. That is very boring. This is a market that can go up five thousand dollars in less than a week. In a bull market, Bitcoin can do a thousand dollars in a single day. But it took 154 days to drop six to seven thousand dollars. I mean, that is very boring. And if you look at this right here, and if you just, if you look at the current pullback, now let me show you how boring this is. It took, you know, if we again, for the sake of keeping things, you know, organized and very simple, you know, it took 63 days for Bitcoin to drop five thousand dollars. So it took 10 weeks for us to drop $5,000 from $30,000 down to $25,000. This is, you know, very boring. And if it takes another 63 weeks to lose another $5,000 or $4,000, you know, in total, you're looking at 120 something days. And that puts us again exactly in late August and early September. So this is, you know, this is Bitcoin right here, guys. I hope, you know, this is helpful. And I hope you can look at this market. And I hope you can, you know, listen to this analysis and, and try to make sense of what's happening and what the next couple of weeks, you know, few months, I should say, are more likely to look like. Uh, the reason I'm bearish, simply, if you look at this weekly MACD, this is not looking good. And I am expecting a continuation of this weekly MACD pulling back. And because of that, there's absolutely no way for me to be bullish on Bitcoin anytime soon. Let's see what we got right here in the comments section. Uh, Gonzola, what's up, Gonzolas? I always like your video. Thank you very much. Appreciate the support. His videos are spot on. I trust him more than anybody else on YouTube. No hype at all. Truth. Thank you, Jeremy. Absolutely. I mean, we we don't get everything right, but one thing that we try to do here is, you know, stay true to you know who we are, and we keep it very realistic.